Good morning. I am here at Dover Bridge. This is uh, the bridge that goes between Caroline County, Maryland and Talbot County, Maryland. Uh, we're looking at the uh, new span here. We're going to walk down to the old span here. So it crosses over top of the Chop Tank River. They have they left the old span in place, which is great, I think. And uh, you see a lot of the marsh here. We're going to go around here to the information table. I knew quite a bit of information on this beforehand, but this gives so much more than I even knew. Uh, from the information table that I read over just briefly a while ago, there was a ferry here to begin with from, from 1760, which I didn't realize it went back that far. I'm not going to read all this information to you, but they have there's two tables here that give quite a bit of information. Here, the second table here. This is really describing the span that I knew of, the, stand, the old bridge as we call it here, that still stands today in my lifetime. Uh, the span that we're going to be looking at today was built in 1933, and they took it out of service in 2017 as the new span was finally finished. You can see the traffic here. Hopefully you're picking this up well. Uh, they have have a nice little walk here. You can see the marsh area here off to the right here. I am on the Caroline County side. Here you can see the river. It is right around lunchtime when I'm recording this. It is about Rather cool day, but it's not too breezy. It's about 25 degrees actually today. A little on the cool side. Just have a light breeze. If it was too windy, I would not be down here. It would be too cold for me. As you can see the traffic coming off the bridge here. They made a nice little walk here. This bridge, the new span, was much needed. They waited many years. I believe the old span had been in service for 80 plus years. As a uh, local, I was born and raised on Delmarva. I can remember just in my lifetime, many accidents happening on this bridge. And if I recollect in my lifetime as well, many people lost our life in those accidents. The bridge was so narrow, so this was a much needed span. If I recollect right, I believe the each lane was like 10 feet wide, which I believe, if I'm thinking correctly, new spans, most of the lanes are like 12 feet. So the 10 foot span and I think every vehicle has to be under, can't be over eight feet wide if I remember correctly. And uh, so that doesn't leave much room. Here, give me a little. As we're coming up on the river here, as I say, this crosses the uh, Top Tank River. And actually, a lot of it's froze today. It's been so cold. As you can hopefully pick that up, there's ice on the river there. This river eventually feeds out to the Chesapeake Bay, which eventually goes out into the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. We're walking here where it would, I guess the, this was part of the original road that fed to the, or should, I should say led to the, uh, the bridge itself, the old bridge here. Looks like they just let it grow the natural habitat here. As we're walking down. Looks like they put a little span here. Looks like to let the marshes, let it the natural flow of the water 
looks like it's rather low today. I know at times this, the tide can come rather high here. I guess to have, see the natural flow. They can feed from one side to the other, no disruption. You can see a lot of the ice there. I would gather, this is probably from where you park, where they have a parking area at the end, to here's maybe half a mile, just a guess. I remember many times over the years, the state of Maryland would, uh, would promise to build a new bridge because it was in such need and many times it just got passed over in the budget and things and it never happened and when everybody said it's finally going to be built uh, if i were <laughs> when i'm thinking about what everybody used to say is i'll believe it when i see it well here it is <laughs> this bridge has been active since 2017 now very nice bridge if you go over it you, you got views now that you could never see of the marsh and the river and things you didn't realize how beautiful it actually was. They have another one of these. tunnels underneath here, the drainages, or what, I'm not sure what the ter exact terminology would be there, but uh, to allow the nat natural ebb and flow of the river and the marsh and I guess some of the wildlife that would go back and forth there, be no disruption. Road narrows. Um, I know this used to be Part of the old road looks like they built it up and changed a few things here, but it looks like they've left some of the signs here. It says road narrows. And uh, there's a stoplight here because I remember when they were doing repairs and whatnot and things, um, they would have one-way traffic and things. And I'm assuming they just left it here when they were finished. Just a guess. The bridge was, when it was uh, active, it was not blue in my memory. As you can see the blue color, hopefully as we get up here, you'll see it a little bit better as I, we're almost there. You can see somebody's already been down there and had some graffiti on that. As you can see the light here, I guess like I say they left it. Old pine tree there, and the pine trees, uh, they don't mind that salt water, that brackish water. As a, you can see the Talbot County sign, it goes from Caroline to Talbot County here. I can remember as a boy, my father coming down here, fishing off, he would go down off the side of this bridge and there was some, uh, some kind of support for the bridge and he would fish off of that. As I think about it now, it sounds kind of crazy. As you can see down the river there, Some more graffiti, somebody couldn't help herself, I guess. This is the first time I've walked this bridge since it's been uh, deactivated. You can see the bluish color. I don't ever remember it being blue. 
You see up on here the top tank river. It's cold today. A lot of it's froze on the edges here. And the river. And as you can see, the new span right above it here has go down much taller. Won't interfere with boat traffic or anything. I am so glad they did not tear this down. As you can see down there, there's a boat pier down there. And gee, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Down there on the river, there's a large group of geese down there. Just kind of hanging out the day. Something that I want to bring out. I seen that if, if the camera's picking it up here in the marsh mud there, you can see there's some uh, seems to be like pieces of uh, sticks or what have you, pieces of lumber sticking up. I seem to remember as a boy people having small skiffs and they would tie them off in this area for some reason. I'm wondering if that's any some remnants of that. I am not sure that doesn't look natural, so I don't know. It's just a guess. As we're coming up here on the end, you can see that wooden platform that I was talking about. Part of it from this angle that I referred to that I said my father used to drop down and fish off of. of a few ducks here just hanging out this morning or this afternoon I should say it's around lunchtime. As you can see this would have been quite narrow. Two cars would have been passing each other at 50 mile an hour on this bridge would be quite narrow. As you can see some of the pylons and things that they have when boats go through here, that way if they get a little off course, they don't veer into the bridge itself. Now the bridge is permanently locked open now from my understanding. It will never close again. You see, if you can see that in the camera in the shadows there, right in the middle of that span it's open, you can see the the pulley type system they had there, turntable, they would rotate that span open. I can't imagine how many times that bridge has been opened. And as you can see on the other side, the Talbot County side there, I remember uh, when this bridge was active, if when you come off the Talbot, Talbot County side, right on your right hand side there, there was a small two story house there. I'm assuming it's, the information table will probably give us more information on that. I don't know if the, the original house was for the guy that operated the ferry way back in the day or whatnot, I'm not positive on that. So don't hold me to that. As you can see here, you can see the the new pylon, the big concrete here, and you can see the uh, the wooden pylons there to keep the boats from getting into the ship, or getting into the uh, bridge, I should say. You can see the blue color there. I thought, I don't remember that being that color. They actually have a gate here on the end for some reason. I guess if they ever need to access it for some reason, maybe. I'm not sure what that's all about. As a boy, I always wondered why they called this Dover Bridge Road. And as I got older, I remember reading somewhere along the line. I don't remember where I read it. Maybe somebody, if you're looking at this video, you can correct me, put it in the comments. 
I remembered that there was a community that no longer exists. When you cross this Dover Bridge and go into the Talbot County side, there was a community called uh, Dover at that time that no longer exists. So that really makes sense to me. That would explain why it is called was called Dover Bridge Road because in this area, when you say Dover, I think of Dover, Delaware, which is about an hour or so north of here. So that would explain a lot if that is the case. That was long before my time. All right. We're going to be getting ready to head out of here. All right. I think that's going to be about the video, end of the video for today. If you like this video, just like and subscribe to this channel. We'll have more of this content and many different things. All right. Thank you. See you guys.